it's predicated on the on the on the notion that it's better to face China and stress them in the economic markets rather than face them globally on a geopolitical level or in a military conflict or any one of those different variables that people like to talk about in the doomsday preference. But, but you know, th China was never ready for 6%. They're not ready for it. They're simply, they, it was out of their calculations. They didn't think it would ever go up that high. They're just simply not prepared for it. And that's going to take a significant chunk out of, of their purchasing power. They're, they got debt issues or the dollar debt issues. They have, they have issues all over the place. 4.5% um, on the 10 year for Asia and whole, that's really problematic from what I was told. And I think we were just discussing it off camera that, uh, that just takes a lot of the inflows uh, back into the U.S. dollar and the U.S. markets. And Yellen knows this, right? Yellen knows this right before she goes to right before she goes to visit uh, China. You know, the DXY is still elevated at 103, 104. So you know, she's over there, you know, giving you know, lecturing the Chinese on what she thinks needs to be done and whatnot. But it's just it's it's clear as day at the moment that the United States has has a policy within you know whether it's the Treasury or the Biden administration to keep a cap on China's uh, ability to stimulate the economies and you know potentially launch another round of inflation globally.